Hey, what's up, everybody? So I wanted to go over a quick little tool here that will save you time, give you more time to drink beer. So I have the sequence here, and, you know, in theory, imagine this came from all different sources. Some of it's offline. Maybe it's on different drives, all that stuff. Just in case you don't know that, this hamburger menu down here in the left, uh, there's something called clip color, and you want to have this checked I have this offline check that shows all the clips with this huge red color, so I can immediately tell that it's offline. So this clip is offline, and if I hit this button right here, find bin, it'll say this bin, Steve stuff somebody made is not in this project to edit with this clip. Basically, there's no way I could find this clip unless I could somehow find this Steve stuff bin, but say I don't want to do that. I don't know how to do that. What I would do is I'm in my first monitor here. I would make a new bin and let's call this my initials BT find clip. I don't know. This is a really temporary bin. I'm only going to use this for a second here. And I'm going to alt drag that sequence into this bin. So it's the only thing in this bin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this hamburger menu right here on the bottom of the bin. I'm going to hit set bin display. And what this does, this gives you a lot of options to show what's in the bin. For the most part, you really only want to show things in the bin that you're actually going to use. But there's this awesome checkpoint down here called show reference clips. Now, if I check this and I hit OK, it's going to show every single source, media, clip, whatever you want to call it, in the bin right here so everything that was in this sequence now you can see it in the same bin you don't have to go searching through other bins so once i realized this i was like wow this is awesome so now if i go back to this side and i hit find bin and i go back to my first monitor there it is it found the original clip find out what drive it was on you could find out what tape it was on where it was created all that information and in theory that would help you so of course i would never edit with this on all the time so once i found my clip i'd go back to set bin display and i would take off show reference clips and bang now the only thing in the bin is what i would want it to be either sequences or clips uh, I never personally use, like, you can have these settings right here of the renders and the pre-compute clips, right? I don't want to deal with that. These are the render files for the audio dissolves and the color correction, just things like that. I, that's too messy. That makes my head hurt. That makes me not enjoy the beer as much as I'm going to enjoy this weekend. I hope you enjoy some beers this weekend. And if you need to know Avid or if you know someone that needs to know Avid from Soup to Nuts and short little videos just like this, go to avidbeer.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.